Hello, my name is Dr. Irvin Danau. I'm the founder of El Pariso Verde in Paraguay, and I'm also the president of Reljuf Esaica, the company that has been developing this project ever since the beginning. On September 6th of 2024, court decisions 19,808 and 19,803 dismissed the criminal complaints of two of the most reckless kamikaze investors as unfounded. What is a kamikaze investor? Kamikaze investor means financial self-destruction with maximum collateral damage for other investors. These individuals have caused millions in damage to the El Paraiso Verde project. First, criminal complaint of the married couple Dr. Matthias Poland and Ute Poland as of 24th of August 2023. In several TikTok videos, YouTube and on other social media, these two had portrayed El Pariso Verde as a scam and claimed that the project and its founders had deprived them of their life savings. This allegation was rejected by the public prosecutor's office as not corresponding to the facts. With its court ruling, the public prosecutor's office has made it clear that neither the El Pariso Verde project, nor the founders, are guilty of fraud. The intention of the Poland's videos was to damage the project by spreading lies and to extort the repurchase of the investments they had made. Their videos were seen by tens of thousands of people. The result was, in addition to blackmail and coercion, the accomplished criminal offense of defamation of character, slander and damage to credit with millions in damage. Second, complaint dated as of 5th of December 2023 from Mrs. H. R. Mrs. R. has been inciting hatred against the project and the founders for about two years in many chats as Mrs. Emerald, spreading lies and creating a mood against El Paris Verde from which she wanted to extort the reversal of the land purchases that she had made. We, the founders, spoke to both of them for many hours, explained the situation to them and we proposed solutions, but they both rejected. The two are suspected accomplices in a smear campaign against El Pariso Verde and the founders, apparently initiated by cunning lawyers and real estate sharks. The alleged aim was to drive the project to ruin, buy up the country's most valuable settlement property cheaply, sell it off for millions in profits and deprive hundreds of settlers and families of their life savings. This unprecedented smear campaign was apparently initiated and led by lawyer Marta Raviolo, who in several videos described the El Paris Verde project as a scam and a pyramid scheme and the founders as fraudsters. In doing so, she caused millions in damage to the El Paris Verde project and the settlement. In addition, she even organized a demonstration in front and inside the Palace of Justice of Villarica, where she, another lawyer, kamikaze investors, and even people who have nothing to do with the project and never had anything to do with it, loudly accused the public prosecutor's office and the high court of inaction and indirectly of corruption. Hasn't she thereby jeopardized the investments of her own clients? Has she not also done immeasurable damage to the country of Paraguay by shaking the confidence of immigrants in the Paraguayan justice system? Has Mrs. Raviolo not given the country which we settlers of El Paris of Verde value as our new home and where we experience the hospitality of a wonderful people a resounding slap in the face with her public statements about the public prosecutor's office? Hundreds of families were deterred from visiting us and getting to know the real El Pariso Verde because of these smear campaigns. Many then went somewhere else, and some only to return to the home country shortly afterwards, often without money. The damage exceeds the estimated amount of damage that the allegedly organized criminal management of Mr. Bucher, 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 without a proven doctorate, has inflicted on the project. One probably can never understand the logic of these kamikazes, 
but with some parables one can at least try to understand what might be going on in their heads. The demands of settlers who are waiting for their houses to be completed and settlers who want to resell their properties but have been unable to sell due to the drop in income caused by these kamikazes are getting louder and are getting more frequent. We, the founders of El Parisa Verde and our settlers are looking to the future. Together with my wife Silvia, we have taken over the management of El Parisa Verde on October 17th of 2023 and we're not only putting the situation in order that was caused by Buka and his gang, but also bringing him and his gang before a criminal court. The truth now is coming to light, a light that many people from all over the world can see and that will lead many to the real green paradise to El Paris Verde New. My name is Dr. Irvin Danau. Thank you for listening.